guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be going to Lienta, it's a shop in Russia that sells like food and other bits and bobs. So we're going to take you around, show you the prices, show you what you can actually get. And yeah, let's go. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, just about to head to the shop now. Uh, I actually haven't got a car in Russia. I use something that's called car sharing. So I've got the map up now and it says it's gonna take about six minutes to get there. And that's gonna cost me around 70 rubles, so about 70 pence, uh, which is crazy. Got outside Lienta now. Um, I use something called car sharing. It's not quite rent a car because it's you're just sharing a car for a short distance. It's not like you're uh, renting it out for a, a long period of time. It's can be you get charged by the minute, or they've got something called fixed price, which is where you select on the map where you're going, and it calculates how much it's going to cost, so you know the price beforehand, which is pretty useful. If you would like to see a video on car sharing, how it works, the apps, uh, what kind of cars you can actually get, things like that, uh, just let me know in the comments below. I'm sure that's something I can sort out. So we're going to head into Lienta now and show you what you can actually get. Uh, so yeah, let's go. So you've got the uh, lockers that you can put your stuff in when you come into the shop just to make sure if you've got like items from other shops and there's no confusion at the tills when you pay uh, just in case you've got stuff that they sell you um, and you've not got a receipt for that or anything like that there's no questions they are free to use we're going to use one now so we're going to show you how they work press this button one of these will open you get a ticket here and then when you come back you scan your barcode here and it'll open back up for you so we're going to use one now so we've also got a service here uh, you can only get it with a lienta card you kind of scan your card and you get to pick up one of these scanners so uh, as you go shopping it'll kind of tally up what you're spending and then when you get to the cash desk you already know exactly how much you spent So you got Lienta's own brand of clothing. It's not actually that bad. So that jacket's 2,399 rubles. Looks at around 24 pounds ish. So you got your sales section here. Got all your spirits, everything like that. 700 milliliter bottle, looking at about eight pounds. Get your champagne and your wine again on sale. You're looking at about three pounds for a bottle of champagne and two pounds thirty-nine 
239 rubles, a new bottle of wines. Again, I'll put the price up on the screen. So you got your jars. You can actually get masonry jars for 10 rubles or 11 rubles. I'll put the prices up on the screen. You got your bigger ones down here for 29 rubles. Pretty cheap. Black rye bread, which is like super tasty. 65 p or 65 rubles. I'll put the prices up on the screen. Uh, you've got the no one forget bread, uh, no one bread rolls. We're gonna get a chia batter. It's uh, 16 rubles, and you bring it over here. Get a cheeky little bread slicer for you. Pop it in the top. <laughs> Close the lid and it slices up your chicken back for you. <laughs> and it comes out already pre sliced. So you got your you got your breadcrumbs here. You got your dry bread. It's bread, and you got your homemade pasta that you can actually buy. It's 25 rubles a pack. Make sure the price is up on the screen. Got a selection of sweets. Uh, you can actually just grab a pack and just weigh them out as much as you need. So you got all sorts of different treats, chocolate, little jellies. You just have like a mix and match kind of thing. And it's the same on the back wall. All that selection. Got like your lager section. 
So this is like your standard Russian beer here. Yeah. This is 99 rubles for a bottle, big bottle of it. So you can actually get beer by the litre here. So that'd be like 139 rubles. And in them packets are literally just bottles like this. Full of beer. Perfect way to try and save some money. They're actually also really tasty. I've tried most of these. I like to get a different one when I'm when I'm trying them out. Just to kind of see what I like. Got your beer on sale here. Look about 62. 62 rubles for a bottle of her garden. You just kind of dive into the crate and just take as many bottles as you need. So that's easier than laying them all out on a shelf. A few different bottles of champagne. Again, you can have bottles. You can also get a bottle for 199 rubles. Full bottle of champagne. And again, you've got plenty of choice. Three bottles of red wine here. We've got some down here for as low as 170 odd rubles. 179 rubles. For a full bottle of wine, crazy. I've actually tried some of these, they don't taste as bad as you'd expect a £1.79 bottle to taste like, to be honest with you. It's not as bad as you'd expect. So you've got your Russian vodka section. Plenty of selection. You've got your small bottles here, 165 rubles. These are just all the different types of Russian vodka you've got. You got some as cheap as 395. Down to 299. You've got some for two, 250 rubles down here. Again, just all these different types of vodka. This whole section is just vodka, this whole aisle. You've also got your whiskies here. Jack Daniels up there, 2,249 rubles, I'll put the price up on the screen. I think because it is import, it's obviously a bit more expensive than you would find, say, in more Western countries. You've got all sorts of different brands here, you've got the Russia's own brands as well, and you'll notice that they're a uh, a hell of a lot more cheaper than you would find your imports. Just to kind of compare, you've got 151 rubles for a two litre bottle of Pepsi. When you come down into here, you've got the Pepsi Max, Pepsi Manga, Looking at about six and nine rubles a bottle. So you got your juices. You got things like your apple juice here. With the eighty nine rubles for a bottle. And you got the. You've even got a green apple, red apple. All the different types of apple juice. Just mad. Orange juice. My favourite juice is this bad boy right here. It's kind of like, uh, as you can see, you've got the orange carrots and the different types of apples. It's like a multivitamin kind of drink, but it tastes beautiful. So that'd set you back 122 rubles. Put the price up on the screen for you. Banana juice, cherry juice, 
strawberry. So here you've got like your yeah, little bits and bobs, you've got pickled tomato, pickled gherkins, a bit of salted cucumbers here. The prices that you can see, that's per 100 grams. It's not too bad. So here you got like your little deli counter, nice little selection of cheese, and all your different meats, salamis, sausages, all sorts of different meats over here. From this deli counter you can also get some homemade salads. All sorts of selection here. Standard Russian dishes. Very tasty. So again these are per 100 grams of prices. And you can see, like 26 rubles, 37 price up on the screen. Uh, some come with potatoes, and veg, all healthy. So you got all your condiments, all your different jams. All your different marmalades. You got blueberry, cherry, strawberry, lemon, orange. All the different flavors. These ones are on sale. Pretty good brand. Uh, you're looking at 199 for a tub. 199 rubles. Very different bits of honey. So you got your different types of oil. Sunflower oil is probably the cheapest. You can see you're looking about 98 rubles for a bottle. This is a good brand here. On sale you're looking at 129 rubles. To be honest with you, olive oil in Russia is pretty expensive. It's not too bad on sale, so you're looking at about 679 rubles for this big boy right here. Usually that'll put you back about 11 pounds. I know that doesn't sound that expensive, but obviously for Russia, it can be compared to the other stuff. So you got your different packs of cereal. These are like your kind of complex things that you find 85 rubles for a bag. All sorts of different flavours. So we just got to the checkout now. You just got to kind of scan the QR code that's on screen. This is our gun that we've been scanning all our items with. And now we've just got to wait for one at workers to come and check it, I guess. So that was our shopping trip at Lienta. We're now gonna to go to a meat shop just to get our meat. It's a bit cheaper for butchers. 
So we're gonna find a car and we'll take you there too. So you've got some beef here, you'd be looking at £6.29 a kilogram just because it is more prime. As you can see, it's beautiful red. Top meat. Got some more chops here. Again, you're looking about four, 479 rubles for a kilogram, per kilogram. It's a lot cheaper than you would find in the shops, but it's also a lot better quality. So we just bought some kilogram of beef mince you got here. So it's a kilogram, 349 rubles. I'll put the price up on the screen. Uh, you got a turkey mince here, for 399 rubles. We've also just got a kilogram of that. Uh, and here you've got like a pork and beef kind of blend mix, so 319 rubles. Like I said, top quality meat. And you've got your chicken. Chicken legs, you're looking at 189. Look at the thighs. A kilogram again. Chicken breast, you've got a kilogram, 299 rubles. For like chicken fillets. So yeah guys, that was Lienta. Uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It does really help out the channel. Uh, let me know as well in the comments below anything that you're interested in. Uh, possibly to vlog about next or uh, anything at the shop that you found interesting uh, something you want to ask me about anything like that and yeah we'll see you on the next one